Welcome to the Monday, March the 16th meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let, since everyone is on the phone, I guess, through the conference call, I will let inter everyone introduce themselves. Eric. Martha Smirsky. Uh, Liz Pritchett. Are you there, Hannah? Uh oh. I think we lost Hannah. Yes, sorry. Nope, I'm here. Hannah Smith. Uh, oh, okay. Meredith Crandall, <laughs> staff. So we do have a quorum, so we can move ahead. Do I hear a motion from someone to approve the agenda? Eric moves. Hannah second. Do I hear I Okay. All in favor of approving the agenda, speak Aye. one by one. I approve Stephen Everett. I approve Martha. Right. I approve Liz. For some reason. I approve Hannah. Okay. We'll move forward to the applicants. We will skip 89 Main Street, the skinny pancakes, since no one is there. We'll move to 7 Main Street, Parmelo Properties, Sharon Wynn for a new sign. Is Sharon there? No, this is John Miller. I'm uh, representing you her. To, okay. Thank you, John. Des describe your sign. Yes, it's very simple. It's a um, digital print of her identification graphic, which includes a graphic of the state of Vermont with an interesting border that is to read as a seven. It's a seventh generation Vermont logo. I'd never seen it before, but I guess that's part of her identification. And those, uh, the trim is in green. The lettering is black. It's got a, a, a faded, a fade of a tan background. Um, the picture you have, it, it printed kind of green, but there's also a picture showing both signs on the wall that's closer to the color, but not a very good print either, but um, it looks like the it looks like the larger print. But instead of the only green is in the uh, graphics, and the background is uh, is a tan. And then to uh, bring it up a little, we put a uh, uh, anodized wheat colored, um, about a three quarter inch by three quarter inch aluminum anodized frame around it, which brings the whole thing to about three quarters of an inch thick. 14 inches by 24 inches, uh, quite small and balances nicely with the uh, with the one on the other side of the doorway, which we also did. It finishes Matt. And how's it being fastened to the wall? Um, behind the sign, there will be some um, studs that attach to the frame that will go into mortar joints. We'll be covering some nasty holes that are already there, but we won't be making any new ones. Good. Thank you. Great. Sounds um, good. And where is 7 Main Street? I can't where hear that. Uh, 7 Main Street is the address, is that right? 7 Main Street. Yes, yes, it's the depot building. Okay. Which building is it? The depot building, it's the stairs right on Main, next to Sarducci's. And across from the Shaw's. Oh, okay. Citizens oh, okay. Bank. okay. Yeah, Citizens okay. Bank is in there, and then Sharon's on the second floor, so the, the doorway kind of brackets the stair the stairwell. Yes, okay, I, I know where it is, yeah. Thank you. Well, this is Martha. I have no problems with the sign. It looks pretty well balanced, too, with what is already there. Same yeah, here. I, I agree as well. This is Stephen. 
Yes. I think the only challenge is making it look good on brick, which I think it does. Mm -hmm. I think the frame sets it off nicely. Yes, it looks very nice. Meredith? Yes. Do we need to read through any of the criteria on any of these? Um, I, I mean, everybody sort of knows what the criteria are. I can read through them if you want, because you don't have a copy of the recommendation form. That's okay. I think we're familiar with it. Okay. If we had any issues, we could bring up one, one of the criteria if need be. But in this particular case, I don't think we need to unless anybody else would like to. Nope. I don't okay. want to do anything. Nope. No, I'm good. Nope. Me too. Okay. Okay, so what I think we might be doing, I know it's a little weird, what I might do since we don't have any, it sounds like there's no recommendations or optional changes or anything, I'll fill out the acceptable and not applicable since things like lighting and landscaping clearly are not applicable here. Um, I'll fill right. those out on the sheet and then set an electronic copy. Um via email so that Steve can sign it and the applicant can sign it and then get it back to our office. Okay, that sounds good. Perfect. Do we want to bring this to a vote? I think that's good. Okay. All, all in favor speak your names. Yeah, yeah. I <laughs> Hannah. Liz. Stephen. So it sounds like we have five, five in favor. Yes. Got it. Okay. Do you need anything else? I don't need anything else. I think I'm. I think we're good. I think that solves that one, and I'll send around the paperwork tomorrow. Okay, that sounds good. So, John, that will be an administrative permit, um, but we'll need your signature on the recommendation form first, but we can take that, you know, you can sign it and then scan it back to us. Perfect. Thank you all much. Thank you. Thank you, John. And I feel like I'm living in the future. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, we can move to the next application for 58 Barry Street. Uh, so, do we have uh, who is here for that? I think Beth. Uh, this is for our national life. This yes. is for the uh, Duga cupboard. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, community covered. Wonderful. In front of the building at yep. Berry Street. Yes. Actually, this is Beth Rusnock and Jess Russo. We're both on the line um, from Hello. National Life. Would you, would you, Beth, would you spell your last name? Sure. It's R U S as in Sam, N as in Nancy, O C K. And I apologize, I'm in the car, so forgive my connection. No, that's okay. And who else, who else is there? Uh, Jessica Russo. Meredith, did you get that, both of those? I did. Thank you. Okay. And it's described. Either of you can describe your placement of the uh, community cupboard under the pergola. Certainly. Um, so this is Beth. Um, again, we really appreciate you looking at this at such short notice. The Duga cover will be placed right under the pergola as um, people are walking into the Montpelier Senior Activity Center at 58 Berry Street uh, for easy access. We've been working with Arnie McMullen on this. Yeah. 
Uh, is this going to be fast and down? Yes. So where it will be is it will actually sit on um, very small footings, uh, about one one inch. It will be fastened down to fastened against the pergola itself, so it will be stable. Um, the duvet cover, the doors are plexiglass, um, so they're not glass, and it's created of wood. I believe um, that you have an image of what it will look like. Yep. So it will actually sit on part of one of the benches right now um, as folks are going into the Senior Activity Center. And again, it will be fastened to the pergola itself for stability. And easy to remove, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. How big is it? So it, I don't have the dimensions. Oh, sorry. Are, sorry. Uh, this is Jess. So the no. dimensions are it's approximately 13 and a half um, wide and 32 to 33 height. Um, that's the actual side of the cupboard. I'm sorry, did you say 13 and a half? Do you mean deep? It looks much wider than 13 and a half inches wide. Sorry, this is Meredith. Yeah. So it's taller than it is wide? It was, um, it's 13 and a half. That would yeah, be the depth way. of the cabinet. It looks like it should be about 42 inches wide and 30 inches high by 13 deep. So it's, it is going to be um, wider than it is tall, if that was your question. Yes. yes. Yep. And then it's deep enough so that it can hold non-perishable items um, and so things like diapers and um, hygiene products. I'm not sure if anyone else has. The <laughs> other question is, I think it might look better if you centered it on the post. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, it looks that's like no it's problem. It's out over the end, and, and uh, then people could sit down on either side of it, I think. Yeah, that's a okay. good idea. That's easy enough to do, sure. And you can still fasten it to the post in the back. Yeah. I think that's pretty much an agreement. I would also encourage you to use the darkest green on the cupboard. I know you want it to be noticeable, but I think it would look nice if the green were as dark as possible. Okay. Also, yeah, you're on the also, you're on the street, so the darker the color you make it, the less it'll show dirt and dust from traffic going by on the street. Mm -hmm. This is Eric. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, it's a darker green below on the pergola. It could match that. We were actually going to use our, our corporate color, our green, um, which is a, a, a little bit lighter. I don't have the PMS. Um, which we're happy to share with you, but if you prefer that it be a darker green, that's no problem. You're, you're not, are, are you putting a corporate logo or a list of people anywhere on it? Yeah, so we actually um, have a signage on the front of the cupboard just so people can see what the actual cupboard is, which they do good cupboard. Um, and then by the handles of the door, um, it has a message that says, take what you need, leave what you can. And then on the side of the cupboard, so it's visible to all, we want to put do good cupboard. Um, this cupboard is a gift to the community from National Life Group in partnership with the city of Montpelier, Allen Lumber, and St. Peter's Feed the Children, Heart and Soul Ministry. 
I want to that, tell it gives acknowledgement to everybody that had um, helped participate with the cupboard. And what color the letters be black? Um, the letters right now are white. That doesn't that make any difference. It's just we ought to establish it, that's all. Okay. Yeah, we were just thinking white so it would stand out on the green. It may be your corporate color, but I would encourage you to go a couple of shades darker on the green. Again, just mm -hmm. to make it a little more attractive, again, considering the location and the traffic and the dust that's generated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anyone else have any suggestions or questions? Eric's done. <laughs> Steve is done. <laughs> just for, oh, is done. Okay, this is just Meredith. I just um, want to make sure when I'm filling these out, um, are the centering and the darker green recommendations or optional changes? I would say it's recommendations. I think it'll look sharper. Okay. Both with where it's centered and the darker color. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so I think maybe it's, if nobody else has anything to say, maybe it's a move for some, a motion for approval or with those recommendations? Yes. Let's, let's have a vote. Steven says yes. Eric says yes. This is Martha. Um, I am really impressed by National Life's contributions to the community, but I, I just can't, can't Take it. say yes. I'm going to say no. Okay. Liz? Liz says yes. Hannah says yes. Okay. okay. Then the vote is four to one, so it passes. Okay. Uh, just, Martha, just for, yeah. for your no, was your no under any of the evaluation criteria? So we have preservation or reconstruction of appropriate historic style, um, harmony of exterior de design with other properties in the district, compatibility of I materials. Just, not, not specifically, Mer Meredith, I can't think of a specific category. It just doesn't seem to me to be something that blends in with that area. Okay, um, so maybe incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, if we go with incompatible design, something along those lines? Something along those lines. Okay, and the harmony of exterior design with other properties, maybe maybe those two, two and five. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, um, so again, I'll... I'll fill out the recommendations um, and then circulate the form for Steve's signature and Beth's. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming coming through. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. We Thank really you. appreciate it again. And again, unless there's anything else, we can move forward to the next application for 27 Langdon Street. Uh, so Javier, are you there? Yes. Yes, hello. Fabulous. Uh, so Javier, you've been here before, but maybe just describe what you're here for now that we've got an official application. Got you. Hi, everybody. My name is Javier Jimenez, and I'm one of the co-owners of Bookspieler Records um, at 27 Langton Street. I'm one of the second donors, and I'm here for design review for a new signage and an altered bracket. This 
This is uh, Eric. Uh, one, uh, is the is the bracket in pretty good condition? The bracket is in pretty good condition. Are, are you going to paint it or anything? The bracket? Um, it was not. It wasn't. Um, I got no counsel or recommendations to paint it, and it's honest. This is the first time it's come up as as an option or consideration. But I think it's black. It, it doesn't seem like it's oxidized at all. Yeah, this is Martha. Um, I remember you coming in before, and we had discussed yes. about whether or not you might shorten that pole. Is that part of your yes. plan? Yes. Okay. By how much? Uh, the what's what's legal, which is essentially, I believe, two feet in. So it's um, okay. the left side is within three feet from the wall. Yeah, Martha, okay. if you look to the at the next to the last. Um, page in the application packet um yep. and it's the last part of this application you can see where the bracket yep. is cut back um so it's actually behind where the record sticks out from the um sign so that shows where the bracket's going to be cut to is my understanding is that oh, right yeah. javier okay. correct okay. yeah uh, page, page seven i think yeah, yeah. Yep. thank you yeah you're welcome uh yep yeah. Thanks, Marcus. Does anyone on the committee have any questions or recommendations? Nope. Nope. No, I think it's there. I think it's fine. A nice looking sign, actually. Thank you. Anyone else have any comments? So again, nope. you're using the you're using the existing bracket. It's just being shortened and mounting a new sign. Correct. Unless anybody else has anything to offer, we can actually vote on this one. Again, knowing what the criteria are, it seems to fit in almost every category. I, I will, aye. I'm sorry, Eric, go ahead. Aye. <laughs> okay, I, I vote yes as well. This is Martha, I vote yes. And Liz, yes. Hannah votes yes. Okay, the sign yes. is approved. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Javier, I, I, as Blake, just like with everybody else, we'll get you a copy of the form and you'll just need to sign it, get it back to us, and then we'll issue the permit. Okay, uh, thank you, Meredith, and thank you for every, everybody for making this happen um, under all of what's out there in the world. I appreciate everybody's time and willingness. You're most Thank welcome. Thank you very much for participating. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, Steve, this is Meredith. Would you yes. Would you be willing to hang on for a minute while I try and reach um, the applicant for the skinny pancake application? Sure. Okay, I'm we gonna can. go give them a call and see if I can get them to call in. I'll be right back. Thank you. 
can't reach him on the phone. Um, and I don't really, unless people are willing to hang around while I try and email him and reach him that way, then I, I don't know if it makes sense to, to do that. I, I, I don't really want to do that, but I, I, I'm, this is a preview. I'm going to have a hard time voting for that. That is yeah. going to be a tough. That is going to be a tough one. I know that they say there's no other viable alternative, but there's got to be some other way to keep that off the face okay. of that building. Yeah. But uh, but in any case, we can table that till the next meeting. Okay. So you saw the very last the very last thing in that application is a plan to have it painted. The the last items on there. Um, yes. And so that is the color scheme. Sorry, I can't remember the artist's name. She's been doing all of the um, the mural work, like up in Burlington. Uh-huh. Um, and so this was that kind of geometric, multicolor scheme going on the ductwork was their idea for what they could do to make it more of a public art piece. You mean on the outside? <laughs> yes, so the, the new ductwork that would go up the side of the building, right, that they've got drawn in, yeah. um, would have the G, something along the lines of the geometric artwork that you see in the last item, last part of that application package, where it's shown on the inside. Um, with the multicolors and it, it looks mostly triangles, that would be yeah, painted yeah, on the outside it. of the ductwork. I, I, I'm going to have a hard time with that. It would, anything that obvious on the outside of a building, you know, even if it's not the greatest building in the world. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure it adds anything to the dignity of the building. Or the downtown. Or the downtown. I agree. This is Liz. I I agree too. And also, if the guy doesn't show up for the meeting, um, yeah. Yep. No. Uh, I, I so we can e we can either table it or we can vote on it. I I think we should do. Uh, oh, my thought was we do we've done kind of a straw comment and Meredith could relay that because they, they, as far as I can see from what people said, no, there's almost no point in coming to the meeting. You know? Yeah. He may be thinking or that. Ba or based on what's presented without somebody present, we could actually vote on it. And it sounds like the vote would be a no anyway. We've heard at least four people say they wouldn't approve it. Yeah, uh, whatever. Yeah. You want to go ahead and bring it to a vote then? Eric Eric has said no. I'll say no. How about this is Martha, Martha, Liz, and uh, Hannah? Uh, Liz says no. Uh, this is Hannah. I guess I really, I, I wouldn't say yes without having a better idea of what, I mean, the, the geometric design that they presented just seems like sort of a, a hypothetical. So I wouldn't vote yes without having a better idea of what they're really planning to do. It's it's really tough that they do the crossover. I mean, that makes it way worse. Uh, I don't know that, what unfortunate, do. that unfortunately is a function of the building, the fact that the windows on the third and second floor are never lined up. Right. I, it's, but you know, it just, uh, I, I think it would set a terrible precedent. We've we voted for some on the back of a building that only faced a parking lot, but to face the main street in town, which is a gateway entrance, is a, is a tough call. Huge difference. Well, Steve, I would disagree. It's not too tough a call, but... Uh, <laughs> I, I could vote for it. So as it stands, the vote is four to one against? Or yeah. 
Okay, Hannah, is it, Hannah, would you say, was there any yeses, or was Hannah's an abstaining or a no? Well, mine, mine's currently a no. I, I wouldn't vote yes today, so okay. I guess I just am voting no. I'm not going to abstain. <clears throat> okay. I we think can we, vote no on the pro we can vote no on the proposal presented today, and they're willing to come back if they can find an alternative. I, I, I would just uh, a, a suggest a round tube that you snuck up the side of the building, clean it like a big snake. <laughs> <clears throat> are, are, are you serious, Eric, or not? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell just by tone of voice. <laughs> Well, that's why it's, that's why these meetings where you can't see each other is, is sometimes a little difficult. Okay, so we'll leave the vote as stands. Again, based on your interpretation, is either a five to zero or a four to one. Either way, it's it's not approved. Yep. As presented. <clears throat> okay. Thank you all. Um, meeting minutes is what's next. I'll move them. And I'll leave that to Eric since I wasn't present at that meeting. I, I will move. I will move the minutes. Do we actually have a quorum? I second it. Oh, we do. Awesome. Sorry, Eric, Hannah, and Martha, and Liz. Yeah, who seconded? I seconded. Is that Liz? No, I don't have the I don't have a copy of the minutes in front of me, so I can't really vote. Okay, so that it was, was me, Mark. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. So I've got a motion, got to move. So Eric, Martha, Hannah, are there any nays? All right. Nope, they look good to me. This is Hannah. Awesome. Martha, they look good. Thank you. Um, before we sign off, I want to uh, uh, thank Meredith and whoever else to set this up. It really worked pretty well. I particularly like getting the uh, application via email. Okay. Yes, that was nice to have that ahead of time. Okay. Well, we will be we oh. will be working moving forward, even when we can meet in person, on doing that more often. Yeah, right. I think that that's good. And I I just heard on the TV that uh, this is likely to go on until August. <sighs> oh. So, Meredith, what's going on in terms of future meetings? Um, well, right now we don't have any applications for design review or development review board, um, and the city has, and by planning director and everybody else, even if we had applications, we're not holding any hearings through the month of April. Um, okay. And it's going to be reevaluating as time goes forward. Um, you know, we'll, okay. we'll, we'll be in touch. We'll keep everybody updated. Um, we do, we are moving towards, especially for design review committee, um, having more online meetings um, so even if things are difficult in a month or so we might be able to have a zoom meeting where you all log in on your computers and we can see each other and 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 share a, a screen so that everybody can look yeah. at the the application and even change control over who has it if somebody wants to talk about something in particular um, so we're we're gonna do our best and try and and make business happen even if we can't all get together in the same room I've done that uh, for a while it's great uh, can I move adjournment uh, we don't have one, any one last quick one last quick question there was nothing for 100 Main Street the informal review correct they had to cancel at the last minute okay good then do we hear a motion for adjournment Eric Judge. I move to adjourn. <laughs> okay, Eric all in favor?
Steve is in favor. Martin's Liz in favor. Martin's in favor. Eric's in favor, obviously. <laughs> oh, okay, then meeting is adjourned. Thank you all. Thank you.